Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys an outdoor weatherproof television from a company called Slovox. Now you're probably wondering, why do I have a glass of water in my hand? Well, I'm gonna show you guys something you shouldn't try at home, but you can do it with a Slovox television. And this TV is ideal for someone who has a patio, a barbecue area, or a swimming pool. And if you have a storefront, and you want to have people over and enjoy the patios outside. It is weather resistant, plus it can handle some hot temperature as well as water. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about it, plus I'm going to do some picture tests, audio tests as well. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. Before I show you guys all the details about this outdoor television, I will let you know that this is a sponsored video. It also is gonna take two people whenever you get delivery on a television like this, and that's because it weighs around 74 pounds. And the reason this TV is so heavy is because it's made out of metal. And down here, you're gonna find a speaker on each side, plus to keep it weather resistant, there's a piece of foam right here so you can run your wires through and keep everything sealed off. Now in the box, you're gonna get these mounting screws. It comes with a warranty card, a cleaning cloth, a three-prong AC power cord, and check this out. It comes with two separate remote controls. Pretty amazing. So now we're gonna take a look at the back of it. So what I did is I went ahead and mounted it to this tabletop stand. Over here, it's kind of like these little hooks and you screw these on just like you would any type of wall mount bracket. So once I got everything mounted up, I went in and locked it in, and we're good to go. Now here's the thing, down here it has these little tiny screws and that secures all the inputs to keep them weather resistant. You can see there's a rubber bead that goes all around the back of the cover and the great thing about that is, is it's gonna stop water from entering it so you can mount it pretty much underneath an eave or anything that you need to and it's gonna be able to help you out with that weather conditions. On the back of it, there's a little indention and it moves up to a ventilation system that's gonna keep the TV cool in all types of weather. On this side of the TV, you can see there's an ethernet port right there for connecting it directly to a router. There's also a fiber optic output right here to go to audio system. There's a composite video to go to older VCRs or DVD players. There's a USB and there's an HDMI plus. There's an ATSC tuner right here. And on the other side, there's another USB input plus two HDMIs and there's a power input for plugging it directly into the outlet. One thing I want to let you guys know is that this TV is powered by LG WebOS, so you have all the goodies like the Magic Remote Control and all that good stuff. But looking at the design of this TV, you can see that it has a metal border that goes all around the edges. Down here at the bottom, there's a sensor, and this is going to pick up your different light in your room. There's a logo right here in the center. And over here, we have a power indicator, which is green whenever the TV's turned on, and it turns red when the TV's turned off. So even though I'm not filming this TV outside, I will tell you that it's very bright, it's vivid, the colors are pretty accurate, and I will tell you that it's not perfect, but it does perform well, especially for outdoor television. And with the Quantum Dot technology, I will tell you that this TV has really accurate colors, it's pretty bright, but there's a few other things I want to check out. Now I want to show you guys what the difference looks like on this TV with of HDR, which is on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side is SDR content. I would tell you that this TV can produce up to 700 nits, and this is gonna be great for HDR content. So you can see the brightness is coming in. You're not gonna have those issues that you will with some of the lower end TVs, where whenever you get into any type of bright scenes, it looks very dark. This TV is bright, it's vivid, very detailed, and you can see that the colors pop. So looking at the contrast on this TV, I can say that over here is really good. Up here, where the white levels are, most TVs don't perform that well up in this zone, so it's doing as good as can be expected. Overall, the motion is really good. If you look at the top line, you can see it's pretty smooth overall, and the motion blur is not that bad, but these are things that you can go in the system and adjust. So let's take a look at the viewing angles. This is in front of the television. As we slowly walk to the side, you can see about right there, it's gonna be the sweet spot so as you can see, the TV has very accurate colors. It looks good. And one thing I didn't know is that the TV actually has a gaming mode. So I plugged in my input lag tester and I was able to get about 10.5 milliseconds, which is pretty respectful, especially for a TV that you can put outside and have your friends and family over to enjoy, especially playing video games.
Now, I know this is not promoted as a gaming television, but just imagine this being outside and you can bring out your gaming console, plug it right in, and the kids could have some fun, or adults, especially for a gaming night. And I will tell you that through my test, I was able to get 4K and 1440p at 60 frames per second. And when I dropped down to 1080p, I was able to get 120 frames per second, even though this is a 60 hertz panel. So it made everything look a lot smoother. Now, one thing I mentioned earlier is the audio system. Since the speakers inside this metal chassis, I just want you guys to take a listen. And if you want to get a better sound, go ahead and put on some headphones. So I want to show you guys, this is the web OS that's built into this television. You can see it does have the home dashboard just like you would find in most LG televisions. Open up App Store. And once you're in the App Store, you can download HBO Max, Hulu. You can see there's all kind of applications in here, including the LG channels. So you can have streaming content going directly to the television so you don't have to run a cable wire outside. Here's a quick look of the settings. You can see you have your picture settings, sound settings. You can have the LG channels right there. You can change your connection like Wi-Fi, as well as your general. You have AI services and that's great for, you know, doing the voice recognition setup. I do have an over the air antenna plugged into it. And you can see you do have a built in TV guide that's gonna work for you as well. Now this is the remote I've been using on this video and this one is the magic remote. So this is the remote controls that gives you that pointer on the screen as well as the voice commands. But the TV is capable of doing it. All you need to do is just hold down guide until it accepts the Bluetooth connection and you're good to go. Plus you have some hotkeys for Netflix as well as Amazon Prime right there on the bottom. Now this remote is more of the basic remote so it doesn't have the pointer on the screen nor does it have the voice command, but it does all the features that you need and it has the hotkeys for Netflix and Amazon Prime right there as well. The last few things I want you guys to know is that this is just like any other television. On the back of it, you can plug in your USB thumb drive and you can add your own music, your family pictures or anything you like. So what I would recommend if you decide to use that is just get an extension that hangs a little bit on the bottom and that way you can plug in the thumb drive any time you want. It also has built-in Alexa so you Go into the menu, click on the app, and then you just follow the instructions and log in. And then this TV can become part of your, your Alexa system. It also can accept screen mirroring, it has Wi-Fi built in, has Bluetooth so you can put headphones onto it, and a lot of other sources. And when it comes to the chassis, it is coated for scratch resistance, anti-corrosion, anti-oxidation. You're not gonna get any type of discoloration, and this is good up to eight years in some cases, it will still look new. So I hope you guys like this television. It's a little bit different for the channel, but if you're in that situation where you need a outdoor TV, you definitely wanna consider this. And if you guys are interested, down below, you can go to a website and sign up to be one of the first ones to get notified when it's available to the market. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Tech Steve.